Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to shelf number 10 of my DVD horror collection. Alrighty, so let's get right into this. Alright, first up here is uh, the Shadow Walkers. Um, you know, this one was decent at best, you know, for modern horror. Um, it's about these, you know, these scientists that wake up in this lab and... Yeah, it's one of those type of films. It was okay. Uh, Shark Hunter. Um... Yeah, not good, but still entertaining, I guess. I really like bad shark movies. <laughs> uh, shark Night. Okay. Uh, shark Zone. Again, terrible, but decent for... I I don't know. I have a soft spot for these. Sharkopus. Um, oh, my God. This movie is so fucking funny. Uh, you know, so much CGI, but just hilarious kills. And this, this movie is just over the top and fun. It's just fun. Uh, shark in Venice, just absolutely fucking ridiculous storyline about these sharks, like, in the city waters. Um, yeah, it's terrible, but it was entertaining. Uh, Shaun of the Dead, um, my opinion, one of the most overrated movies ever. Uh, I don't dislike this movie. I don't love it, though. Um, it is entertaining, but I think there's better Zomcoms than that one. Uh, she Freak, um, good movie. Uh, Sheaton. Uh, this is a French film. Oh, this movie's fucking awesome. Um, if you've never seen this movie, definitely check this out. It's uh, definitely worth your time. It's fucking crazy. Uh, Shivers, this is a... I believe it's a Dutch release of Shivers. Um, awesome fucking Cronenberg movie. What can I say about Shivers? It just kicks ass. Uh, the Shining, um, you know, one of my favorite movies of all time. I love this movie. I watch it all the time. Uh, the Shining TV remake, the Stephen King TV remake... Um, you know what? I actually really enjoy this. It's long. Uh, it's a lot different than Stanley Kubrick's The Shining, um, of course. But apparently, like this, well, not apparently. This is more true to the book, I would say. Um, but you know what? It, it, it's all on uh, your own opinion. Whatever you know, whatever you want to like. Uh, Shockalypse. Uh, this is released by Dead Good Films. Like a um, couple shorts on there. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, Shockerama, I recently reviewed this on Body Bags. Um, this is fantastic. Uh, Brett Piper film, fucking great, great stuff. Uh, Shockerama, double feature, featuring Billy the Kid vs. Dracula and Jesse James meets Frankenstein's daughter. Um, I've actually never even opened this, never watched those. <laughs> uh, Short Shocks, released by Dead Good Films. Like, again, this is very cool. Um, uh, shorts on there, too. Uh, Shredder, uh, this is more of a modern slasher based on a ski hill. I really like the setting of this film. It's fucking fun. Uh, pretty cool kills. Um, yeah, you know what? This one is fun. It's just a fun film. It's not great, but uh, it's fun. Like I said, you know, Killer on a Snow Hill, very cool stuff. Uh, Shrieker, released by Full Moon. Uh, this is a fun-ass movie. This movie's really fucking short, I remember, if I remember correctly. I don't know. I think this movie's really short, but um, yeah, fun stuff. I mean, full moon goodness, really. Uh, Shrooms, this was obviously next rental. Um, yeah, I never paid 10 bucks for it. Shrooms is a really fucking trippy movie, I gotta say. Um, I think when I originally watched this movie, I kind of got the twist in it. I figured it out, but uh, still, nevertheless, I thought this movie was really fun. Uh, the Shrine, uh, I thought this movie was actually really fucking good. Um, I think I've heard mixed reviews on and opinions on this one, but I really enjoyed The Shrine. I thought it was a good movie. Uh, Shutter Island. I guess this can kind of fit into this category. It's got horror elements. Um, I think it's a good movie. I know a lot of people kind of shit on this one because, you know, Leonardo DiCaprio's in it, but I honestly don't understand the hate for him, to be honest. But, uh, but I, think it's a, I think it's a really well-made movie. Scorsese did a good job with that one. Something different for him. Um, sick. Uh, serial Insane Clown Killer. This movie is fucking terrible, but kind of entertaining. It's got some pretty entertaining parts. Killer clown film. You know, it is what it is, right? Uh, Sick Girl, released by Synapse Films. Um, holy shit, man. This movie has got some pretty rough parts in it. I gotta say the part where um, she beats up this fucking nun and pisses on her face. Pretty fucked up shit, man. But that's among things. There's some pretty nasty shit in this movie. I enjoy it. It's harsh. Uh, the Signal, I reviewed this one on the old review channel. Um, I will be posting that, that review up of this once again I, in my new series called The Bastard Reviews. So I'm going to repost all those videos. I found all of them but one. I'm kind of pissy. but 
Uh, the Signal. This was a fucking good movie, man. I heard nothing but mixed reviews. I've seen this a couple times. I thought it was really cool, kind of zombie apocalypse stuff. Very cool stuff, though. Uh, Silent House remake. I have actually never seen the original one, so I need to get on that. It's not very often I see a remake before I've seen the original, but in this instance, I, this happened. Um, I enjoyed this. I thought the ending was a little weak, but um, I thought it was shot really well. I thought it was done well. Uh, Silence of the Lambs. What do you say about that? Classic. Silent Night, Bloody Night. This is not an open copy. I've seen this movie many times. Uh, I enjoy it. It's a good movie. Um, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Arrow release, uh, classic, love that movie with a passion, Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1 and 2, this is a Dutch release, um, of the films, and then this is the, a Region 1 release, Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 1 and 2, this is the re-release with the, um, on different discs, uh, Silent Night, Deadly Night, Triple, feature featuring part three four and five which is part three is better watch out uh initiation and the toy maker um not great movies but still entertaining uh i kind of, i actually kind of like the toy maker quite a bit actually it's pretty good uh silent night gory night if you can see that sorry for the glare and this one is featuring these three short films called christmas season massacre satan claus and psycho santa uh this is fucking entertaining as shit I picked this up, man. I was like on Amazon one day and I came across it for like three bucks or something. I was like, you know what? I'm looking for more uh, holiday fucking horror anyways. And this one really hit the spot. It was good. I enjoyed it. Silent Scream released by Scorpion. Uh, this is oh, 1980, I think 1980 or something. This is a fucking good movie, man. Highly recommend that one. Good shit. Stephen King, Silver Bullet, what can I say? Corey Haim. Um, yeah, it's just a good movie. Good fucking werewolf film. Very highly enjoy that film. Uh, Sinister. Um, now, this movie was recommended to me by my buddy Clive. I kind of put off this one. I, I, you know, I overlook a lot of mainstream horror movies sometimes because, in my opinion, they kind of fall short a lot and essentially have the same elements to every fucking movie. This one, you know, I didn't see it's, it being that separate from a lot of other films, but... At the same time, I thought it was quite interesting and entertaining. Um, I, th I thought it was actually pretty well done. Uh, Simon Says with um, Chris Crispin Glover. I fucking, man, Crispin Glover needs to do more horror, horror movies. He's fucking great. Uh, this is awesome. This is a good movie. Uh, the Skin I Live In with Antonio Banderas. Now, this is in the horror section because, honestly, I think this movie is very horrific, man. It's brutal. Um very good movie very good movie uh you know i don't want to give anything away but if you've never seen this one check it out it's a good movie uh the skull um classic stuff peter cush and christopher lee what can you say about that one uh slashers uh this is a fun movie like it's kind of like a game show kind of deal about these contestants that have to make it through this um this course basically and avoid these slashers uh fun it's fun man i, I enjoyed it uh, Slaughter Claws. This was sent to me by Mr. Snickers21, also known as Bill. Um, this has to be one of the most fucking bizarre Christmas horror films, you know, Satan or Santa Claus horror films ever. Um, it has some of the most funny shots in this film, like just over extensive long shots of like, it's just funny. This, this one is for a good laugh, but love the cover art, and thanks again, Bill, for that. Uh, Slaughter High. Um, fucking fun ass you know slasher film everyone's seen this movie but i love the soundtrack it's great uh slaughter night i was really impressed with this movie i thought this was fantastic part of tartan videos collection i didn't really know this was a total blind buy i grabbed this one one time and really enjoyed it i love the um the setting it's like in a kind of like underground kind of deal uh fucking cool movie though really cool and it does have good gore Slaughter Studios, this is like a low-budget um, slasher film, obviously, taking place in a studio. <laughs> uh, you know, it was actually not that bad. I didn't dislike this movie, but this is definitely for people that like really low-budget kind of slasher films. Um, it was entertaining. The Slaughterhouse Massacre. Um, for some weird reason, I can't remember this one. I have watched this movie, but I can't remember what the fuck it is. If I like this movie or not. It's so random that I can't remember. Uh, Slaughterhouse Massacre. I think I think this one might have been decent. I honestly can't remember, but I, ha I have seen it, though. 
uh, Slaughterhouse of the Rising Sun. This movie was fucking weird, man. Um, I don't really understand the title to this movie. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. It's kind of misleading in my opinion, but um, it's kind of artsy and weird and it's just, it's got a weird story, but you know, it, it wasn't really that great. I actually didn't really enjoy it that much. Uh, Slave, from what I remember this one, I kind of enjoyed it, but you know, it was one of these, you know, captivity type films. Uh, the Slayer bootleg. Um, I do have a legit copy of this that Gary uh, Colfi sent me. Um, so it's just not on the shelf. I just have a huge, massive fucking stack of DVDs that are not in the shelves. So uh, Sleepy Hollow. Uh, good film. Uh, directed by Tim Burton. Starring Johnny Depp and Christ Christina Ricci. Um, yeah, it's a good movie. I, I enjoy it. Uh, Sledgehammer shot on video. Released by Intervision. Uh, this came out in like 1982 or 83 or something like that. One of the first ones. I think Boarding House may officially be the first shot on video film. But uh, this movie has it's actually some pretty cool elements to it. It's got, you know, an interesting story for a shot on video. Kind of like a supernatural fucking killer. Um, very different. You know, when you put all the the fucking shot on video movies together, they're very, you know, kind of straightforward, but this one's got some twists and turns, it's got some really ridiculous scenes and just long, overdone shots in it, but, uh, you know, I enjoy it, I know a lot of people don't like that one, but I enjoy it, uh, the Horror Legacy edition, uh, Anchor Bay of, um, Sleepaway Camp, this is just the slip cover, as you can see, yeah, it's got the normal, ooh, I don't know if that's gonna work, yeah, I'm not gonna get that off, but, um, yeah, Sleepaway Camp, amazing, classic film. This is the Canadian release of Sleepaway Camp. Uh, Sleepaway Camp 2, starring Bruce Springsteen's sister. And uh, Part 3, which I like the sequels. They're really bad, but they're they're entertaining. Uh, Dario Argento, Sleepless. You know, honestly, I think this movie is very underrated. I think this is actually a really good movie. Um, definitely one of Argento's later uh, great movies, I should say. Um, I enjoy that though. It's good. Sleep Stalker. Uh, I quite enjoyed this movie. Th thought it was actually pretty cool. Uh, Sleepwalker. Stephen King Sleepwalkers. Uh, I recently watched this movie again, and um, it still cracks me up, man. My favorite part in the movie is when the fucking when the dude gets the uh, the corkscrew in the eye, and he's like, "Look what you did to my eye, or look what you did to my shirt, bitch." <laughs> he's got this shit hanging out of his eye, and he's worried about the blood on his shirt. Ah, uh, it's fucking funny, but um. You know, it, it's an entertaining film. It's kind of got different tones and moods to it. It's weird. Uh, Sleepy Hollow High. I've yet to actually watch this one. I heard this movie's really shitty. Um, I meant to watch this this Halloween, but I just never got around to it. Didn't have the fucking time. Uh, Slice. Um, this is unopened. I've watched this movie, though. This is fucking awesome. This was a recommendation from uh, OD666666. Um, and usually when you recommend something, it's probably going to be pretty damn good. This movie is awesome. Definitely check it out if you like Asian cinema. It's batshit crazy. Uh, Slime City Massacre. I believe this is not a remake to, uh, to Slime City. I think this is actually like a... Technically a sequel. Um, so yeah, it's a melt movie. Um, about these fugitives that are on the run. Fucking cool, man. I love it. Oh, sorry. Uh, Slither. Oh, man. Awesome creature feature. Or not creature feature. Kind of slug. I guess whatever the fuck you want to call it. Uh, this movie's awesome. Great effects. Just great kills. Great fun. Uh, Sloppy the Psychotic. Um, <laughs> holy shit, man. Uh, okay. This movie right here. I mean, a lot of people have talked about this one and reviewed this one. Uh, this movie's fucking funny as hell, dude. The, the, the end scene when he's fucking... I don't want to give anything away, but when he, I got to say the one thing, when he throws the kid on the fucking barbecue, like, I almost fell off my fucking, my sofa laughing, I was pissing my pants at that, I hope that they make a sequel to this, because this was fun shit, more goodness, killer clown stuff, uh, Slugs, um, who did the, yeah, J.P. Simon, okay, I can't remember who directed this movie, um, Slugs, fucking, awesome movie, man, I love slugs, it's just, <sighs> slugs are so fucking disgusting, man, so I, I really dig it, man, I think it's a great film, great 80s creature feature kind of thing, um, Smash Cut with, um, David Hess, uh, Michael Berryman's in this shortly, I built her, yeah, very briefly, and, uh, Sasha Gray, um, surprisingly, Sasha Gray, the porn star, does not bear anything in this movie, 
Um, this movie is not that great. It has some pretty decent moments. The best thing about this movie is David Hess. Um, Hersh, um, Herschel Gordon-Lewis is actually in it for small parts too, but um, you know, it was decent, but it's, I don't recommend it, but uh, Snow Shark, man, this movie is ridiculous, man. It's, the title says it all. Sharks in the snow. What the fuck? I think I'm going to have to do a shark week of like ridiculous shark movies reviews. Like, fuck, I have so many of them. It's stupid. Uh, Sodomon's Ghost. This is directed by Lucio Fulci. This is a really weird kind of Nazi exploitation. I don't know if you'd say exploitation, but it has got, you know, ghosts, uh, Nazis in it. And um, this is a weird one. This is a really weird one. Uh, it's got a really weird atmosphere to it. It's kind of cool in points. Um, I think it fell short of being like a great movie, but it's decent though. Uh, Sodom the Killer. This I thought was fucking awesome. Very cool. You know, Asian cinema released by Tokyo Shock. Uh, someone's knocking at the door. This movie was fucking crazy, man. Um, I haven't watched it in a while. I watched it when it first came out, and that was you know a few years back. Um, I think it's. You know, about these people that start taking these, like, experimental drugs and just shit goes fucking crazy, man. Um, really, really remember love, loving this movie. Released by Vicious Circle Films. They put out some pretty cool shit. Uh, Stephen King's Sometimes They Come Back. This movie's pretty cool. Um, you know, it, it's, it's... I think this movie's fucking PG for some... I don't know, it's rated R, I guess, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a pretty cool movie based on the short story. Uh, sometimes they come back from more. This is the third one. Um, not so good, but whatever. It is what it is. Uh, sorority Babes in the Slimeball Bolarama. Um, <laughs> uh, this movie is fucking fantastic. Very surprisingly decent, actually. Uh, with a name like that, you think it'd just be over the, the top ridiculous, but it's pretty fucking fun. Uh, Sorority House Massacre and Sorority House Massacre 2 Double Feature. Um, I like both these movies. They are not great slasher films by any means. Um, they're basically just kind of rip. Like, they're very typical slasher films, but entertaining. Lots of, I mean, all girl casts. I mean, you can't really go wrong. Lots of titties in there, but fun shit. Uh, Sorority Row, the remake. Um, I guess a loose remake. It's kind of a remake, I guess. I don't know. It's a different story, really. But um, I actually enjoyed this. I know a lot of people shit on this one. Surprisingly, I actually enjoyed it. Uh, Species, uh, awesome. Uh, Species 2, great film. I actually like all these Species films, man. These are good movies. Species 3, and I actually do like Species 4. I think, I think some people kind of shit on this one a little bit, but um, Species 4, good movie. Uh, special effects directed by Larry Cohen. This movie is a more of a thriller type kind of film, but it's Larry Cohen, so I throw it in here. Uh, it's a good movie. Really good shit. I recommend it. David Cronenberg's Spider. More of a fucking psychological thriller slash horror, I guess. Um, fuck, this movie's weird. <laughs> Cronenberg, I wish you'd go back to doing shit like this, but good movie. Uh, Spiral. Uh, released by Anchor Bay, direct, co-directed by Adam Green, and who else did the... Joel David Moore was the other director on this movie. Uh, this is a fucking... I, I really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was great. Uh, Splinter, fantastic creature feature. Uh, honestly, one of the better ones the last few years. Very, very fucking cool uh, creature. Uh, Splatter Beach, put out by Camp Motion Pictures. Uh, this movie's fucking fun as hell. It's got some really bad blue screen or green screen action in there, and just effects are shitty, but fun fucking movie with a funny ass soundtrack. Uh, the Polonio Brothers, um, Splatter Farm. Uh, yeah, what? Yeah, I can't remember. But you um, yeah, shot on video, shit. But so enter fucking taining. That's all I gotta say, man. I loved it. It's great. Uh, Spontaneous Combustion. Um, I believe this is out of print. Uh, Anchor Bay. Toby Hooper film. This movie, I always have mixed ideas. If I, I don't know. It, sometimes I kind of dig it. Like I, I think I dig parts in this movie, and other parts I don't. As a whole, I don't find this movie to be that great. It's kind of ridiculous, but um, I don't know. It's okay. Check it out if you want to. Uh, Squirm, Jeff Lieberman. This movie is fucking awesome. You know, Worms and sh oh, great movie, great movie. Uh, SS Hellcamp, Nazi exploitation. Oh my god, video nasty. This movie is just ridiculous. <laughs> I kind of like it though. 
Uh, Stakeland, very cool vampire film. Um, it's like road horror almost. Like they're traveling around, just basically, you know, trying to get to this this place and um, you know trying to avoid vampires. Fucking cool film. I really enjoyed though. Uh, Stan Helsing, Unopens. Um, I've actually never watched that movie. Uh, Starman, not really a horror film, but it's a Carpenter film that I ended up throwing in here. Um, it's a good film. It's decent. Uh, Stay Alive, this is the video game movie um, where the shit starts coming uh, real. Um, so you're actually playing the game for real. Uh, I actually kind of enjoyed that. I thought it was a fun premise. Uh, the Stepfather, oh my god, what can I say, man? I fucking love The Stepfather. One of my favorite slasher films. Uh, stay, stay far away from the remake. The remake was so shitty, just so shitty. Terry O'Quinn is the only stepfather. It's fucking awesome. Uh, and the stepfather too. Um, love this movie as well as a sequel. It's fucking great. Uh, just vicious. He's just nasty in that movie. Um, Stigmata, uh, you know, religious fucking horror movie um, with Patricia. Patricia Arquette. I actually really enjoyed this film. I thought it was good. I kind of those movies are hit and miss with me sometimes, but I enjoyed it though. Storm Morning. I believe this is an Australian film. Fucking love this film. The chick, the uh, the wife in this film, fucking badass. So badass. Uh, Strange Behavior reviewed this on the eighty one series. You can go check out that review. I enjoy it. I recommend it. Uh, D. Schneider's Strange Land. This is a fucking interesting movie. The very first time I watched this movie, I didn't really dig it that much, but it's fun. I, I enjoy that movie. Uh, Arrow's release of Street Trash. I've recently got the Synapse Blu-ray, which looks fantastic, but this is an awesome release. Um, what can I say about Street Trash? I love it. Stripperlands, fantastically cheesy, shitty film. I enjoyed that. I thought it was fun. Uh, Student Bodies from 81, horror comedy. Uh, yet to come up on my 81 series. It might not make the cut, though. Who knows? It might. But, um, yeah, it's it's goofy. It's goofy, but it's fun. Uh, the Stuff. Uh, Larry Cohen, fucking cheese fest. What can I say? Love The Stuff. I, this movie always makes me hungry. <laughs> uh, Stupid Teenagers Must Die. It's ridiculous, and it's pretty much what the title says. Uh, Subspecies, The Complete Chronicles. This is, like, one of those... Flatron releases with the five films in there. I have the movies on Blu-ray. Um, I love this series, man. I hate the the fucking the one that's not really connected, like the Chronicles. I don't know. Uh, suburban Nightmare, not that great actually. I was expecting more from this one. I was kind of disappointed with this, you know, suburban, you know, cannibalistic family films, like in the vein of parents and stuff. Not that great. Suicide Club, decent at best. Uh, Suicide Girls Must Die. I've yet to actually watch that movie. Uh, Survival of the Dead, Romero, fuck, Romero really dropped the ball with this one, bad CGI, definitely the worst in the Dead series, in my opinion. Uh, Suspiria, this is the Anchor Bay edition, I have multiple editions of Suspiria, it's one of my favorite movies ever, and I will always defend this movie, I think it's brilliant. Uh, Swamp Thing, yeah, um, Wes Craven recently got the Screen Factory Blu-ray, that one. I'm not really actually the biggest fan of Swamp Thing, I've just come to realize, I know, shoot me. Um... Sweatshop, uh, this has got some pretty cool kills, decent, you know, soundtrack, kind of annoying at times, but overall, it's not the greatest movie, but it's kind of grown on me, I've watched it a couple times, and I don't know, it's got enough body count and it keeps me interested, uh, Sweeney Todd, not the hugest musical fan, but I love this fucking movie, it's so bloody and awesome, they do a great job in that film, <laughs> Sweet House of Horrors, directed by Lucio Fulci, this movie really sucks. It's not a good movie. Made for TV. Uh, double feature of Demon Knight and Bordello of Blood. Um, I don't know why I never got these on solo disc, but I, I think I got this for free, actually, so I never did. But uh, Love Demon Knight, Bordello of Blood is not a good movie, but I love it. It's entertaining. Uh, Tales from the Crypt, Vault of Horror. These are both awesome anthology films. Fucking love these movies in the early 70s. Uh, Tales from the Dead. This is um, Japanese... Uh, anthology film fucking good good shit very creepy i highly recommend that shit sorry i'm trying to rip through this i realize this video is like 24 minutes tales from the dark side yep classic anthology film uh tales from the hood i uh, fucking love this anthology film everybody knows that this is awesome very very hard dvd to find uh tales from the tales of terror another anthology film finch of price fucking awesome shit right there 
Tales of Voodoo Volume 1 featuring Hellhole and Jungle Virgin Force. Um, yeah, Volume 1. Here's Volume 2, uh, Ghost Ninja and Primitives. Uh, Tales of Voodoo Volume 3 featuring The Rapist and Devil's Express. <laughs> and I have Volume 4, it's on the ground though, it's not in the collection yet. Um, and I'm missing Volume 5. And After Dark Originals is the task. I started to watch this movie. I didn't get a chance to finish it. I was liking what I was seeing. But I am probably going to do an After Dark Originals theme week. Because they only released 7 of the 8 movies. So that works out perfect for a theme week. So I think I'm going to do that. Because I was enjoying those. Um, Teenagers from Outer Space. Awesome movie. I love that cheesy fucking throw, or, um, 50s film. Uh, Teenage Exorcist. Love this film with Michael Berryman. Uh, exorcism shit or Possession stuff, awesome fucking movie, love it, and uh, well, I hope I get this last one out of here, sorry guys, and Teeth, what can I say about Teeth, Killer Vagina, love it, awesome, even my dad loved that movie, he texted me up one day and said he watched it on Netflix and fucking loved it, <laughs> um, so yeah, that is shelf number 10, sorry about the long ass motherfucking video, but I will talk to you guys later in shelf number 11, and so on through 17 or 18 of this series is going to be. So anyways, peace out guys. Thanks you for watching and subscribing and commenting. Peace.